Hey guys, so I got one of my favorite photos to edit today, sent in by this guy here. So you can go give him a follow in the description and he's got his presets here for sale. So if you like his work, you can come back here and check out his presets. So looking at his feed, you can see a lot of mountain shots and yeah, there's quite a bit of shadows, there's quite a bit of contrast, looks like there might be a bit of clarity and quite a bit of blue in the shadows. And we are going to be editing not a mountain shot, but this image here so we're going to create this misty awesome shot in Lightroom recreate the edit so let's get into it and as you can see our original image is looking very very flat and if we look at the cropping you can see we've cropped in a lot and he's quite nicely framed it in the original photo but has decided to really crop in there so as you can see we've got to do a lot of filters and really cool off the image and put a bit of a fade in there so we are going to really cool off the image for starters and I'm gonna really bring up the contrast our image is really flat bring up the exposure those highlights down shadows I'm going to bring down whites to get that real shine and pop to the image and blacks for that contrast right so clarity is obviously quite high as you can see clarity gives that sparkly crisp glassy look and I'm going to drop the vibrance as you can see we don't have a lot of color in our edited image going on to tone curve so I'm not going to do too much here okay so I just added in a bit of a fade and a slight shift to those highlights and I think before I'm going to do any colors, I want to bring in this fade now. So what I'm going to do is grab one of these. I'm going to do a fairly large filter. About there. And we want it nice and spread out so we get that gradual fall off do is bring up the exposure really drop the contrast as you can see just makes it a little softer highlights And you gotta really bring down clarity. Okay, so now we've got to brush away the mist where we don't want it. So I'm gonna come up to here to brush, not the image brush, but the word brush, and then we're still using our filter. And I'm gonna come down to erase. So now I'm gonna erase away the areas we don't want the mist. So all over the deer. And play around with uh, the size, the feathering, so the fall off, and the flow is the density or the amount applied with each stroke. And you can go over each place twice, and then you're going to have to zoom in and get very close on the edges. Okay, so I just fast forwarded that. It took me quite a few goes finding the right settings to really brush finely around the edges and make it look right. So I think you're a bit better off using a bit more flow. So moving on, so back to our reference. And the next step I think is to, uh, we want it pure white up in the corner here. So I'm gonna add in another filter. And in this one, 
gonna increase the exposure to make it pure white. You can take down the clarity to keep it soft. So now we're looking pretty good. There is one more filter I think I want to do. As you can see, it's quite dark down here. And what I'm going to do is bring down the exposure. And since we've lost our fade now, I'm going to bring up the blacks to keep a bit of a fade there. And we've lost our cool tones in there, so I'm going to bring down the temperature. About there, and now I'm going to do some split toning. So, shadows first up, we want more blues in there. And for the highlights, we want to put the opposite color in there. So, I'm going to put a warm orange or yellow. It's quite subtle, but it separates those shadows in the highlights. And moving on, do a bit more sharpening. And HSL, so we'll try to finalize our colors now. Yellows, not many colors in this image at all. A lot of blues. Saturation. Not many yellows in there either. Bring down these blues a bit. Purple is the deer's coat. Looks about right, I'll leave it. There, now luminance. And we're looking pretty close, but as you can see, uh, we've lost a lot of color in the grass here. So even if I bring saturation of the greens to 100, we've just lost those colors because the original image was so flat. So even if I bring the yellows up, there's just no colors in there. So what I'm going to do is put some colors in there to get these greens, like in this image. Because this image just lacks a bit of color, so I reckon what he's done is wanted to make it a little more vibrant so he grabbed a brush and he came down to the color here and pick a green that is similar so go with a pretty desaturated one bracket key to change your brush and you might want to go over a few areas twice and it will just add a bit more vibrance to the image 
Having a bit more greens in there. And I think it's looking pretty good. Uh, there's a few little differences maybe. Maybe I'd shift this filter. And I'm just going to leave this one here guys. So here's our before and after. Pretty drastic difference. So yeah, comment down below if you guys like this one. Leave a like and leave a comment who you guys want to see. And yeah, you guys can go follow him on Instagram down in the description. And yeah, you guys can check out my presets if you're after those. If you like these tutorials, you will like those. And I will be catching you guys in the next one.